Dan Barron from Freeport Press and Flywheel Letterpress in Freeport, Illinois. My dad started printing when he was 16 in the basement of an insurance company in town, and he's always been a printer. Uh, my mom actually worked here, and they purchased the business in 1996. I felt like after school, people would go do sports or something, and I would come to work. But when I was about 15, I started running a printing press. And an old man who still works here, he's 72, he taught me how to run the press. His name's George. The machine that's sitting right in front of me is a Rossback auto stitch. And when I was 14, I had to learn how to rebuild the uh, stitching heads, so. That's what you get. A roll of wire turns into little tiny staples. I'm kind of German, and I like the rigidity of uh, setting up a machine and trying to replicate the same print over and over. I printed the grass stained green covers about a year and a half ago, and now I'm doing the Ravenswing black covers. The covers are being printed offset, 13 by 19, on a Heidelberg Cord 6.4, which is 25 and a half by 18 inches. So the, uh, the paper feed is up here. Uh, these fingers pick it up and bring it down into the, these are called the head stops, and this uh, allow registration and the side guide will push it over, you'll see, and take it down through the cylinder, which comes out, delivers out the back side. But when it comes across the impression cylinder, it's squeezed in between the blanket here, and that's why this is called offset printing, because you get the offset of the uh, right reading plate to the rubber blanket. Underneath here is like a blue image that was burned in with a UV lamp, and that accepts the ink and the rest uh, likes to accept water, and that just keeps the plate clean. Now along the side, there's uh, four ink form rollers and two water forms. So these two, when they engage with the plate, they'll, they'll dampen the whole plate, and then these four will come through and lay down a nice layer of ink on there. So, and this is lithography, so it works on the, the basics that oil and water don't mix. There's a few relays, but other than that, there's zero electronics in it, which I kind of love. Things break, and I can fix them pretty easily by myself, so. The outside of the covers are being letterpress printed on a Mealy V50. It was built in Chicago, but um, this particular press was actually, a, I think it was a V45, that it was converted to V50 at one time. It's a vertical cylinder press. So I, I overpack the cover because the back was coming through a little bit too hard. It's a finer typeface and it was over inking and it was getting uh, too much impression on the edges. So I backed that off and up this. Um, it actually has two layers of 500s on it. So. You still have the, uh, the flat chase form it's locked up, but the paper is run around a cylinder. Instead of on a platen press, like a Heidelberg windmill or a Chandler Price, um, this is more like a Vandercook, I guess. This is exactly what a Vandercook is. Start back here. Yeah, and you have to me and I'll just okay. Okay, so this is a 12 page signature. It's folded down. These are all individual feeders. So what it does is she loads them in and it drops all the signatures individually and collate them into one book.
Then it goes down the line, comes around and folds in a drum, and two belts folded over here. Comes here and stitches it, puts the staples in, folds them, forms them, puts them in. This is basically just coming off a straight wire. It comes down here and it's got what's called drivers and formers in it. Comes in straight and the formers come down on the sides and the driver comes down the middle. And then it folds it from underneath with a clincher box. And this is pushing up a rod from the bottom and it's forming a staple from in the inside. That's basically how it works. Comes in through a conveyor here into the trimmer where it trims all three sides. This is final product here. 